Okay, in this video, I will show you how to properly apply thermal paste to a CPU and heatsink. In this clip, I ran Prime95, which is a PC stress testing software, to demonstrate how hot my Intel Core i5 CPU was getting when it was overclocked from 3.3 GHz to 4.5 GHz. During the 1 minute and 30 second run, my CPU reached a maximum of 78 degrees, which is much hotter than manufacturer recommended max temp of 72 degrees. So now I'm going to remove my CPU heatsink and fan and show you how to properly clean and prepare the surfaces of the CPU and heatsink before you apply the new thermal compound. I use a dry paper towel to remove the initial residue from the original thermal compound. Then I use rubbing alcohol and I put that on a paper towel and clean the surface multiple times until you can run a clean sheet of paper towel across the surface and not get it dirty while swiping it over the heat sink. Okay, now this is what my heat sink looked like once I thoroughly cleaned it. It was pretty much shiny and I couldn't really find any dirt in it. These are the blades of the heat sink and as you can see there was a lot of dust in there and I have a special trick. I actually use a leaf blower to clean my fans and my heat sinks whenever I take them out. Turn on the leaf blower and blow out all the dust from my heat sinks and fans just like this. This works remarkably well. I, I don't apply any compressed air. I pretty much just use this. As you can see, it did a fantastic job of cleaning out the dust on the, <clears throat> on the heat sink. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my uh, CPU fan that straps onto the heat sink. Okay, now I'm going to repeat the same cleaning process for the CPU that I did on a heat sink. I used a dry paper towel to remove the excessive thermal compound. Then I use a paper towel with rubbing alcohol until I had the CPU surface, the metal cap, clean and shiny as shown here. Now using some Arctic Silver 5 and a Pep Boys card, I'm going to show you how to tint the surface of the heat sink. Basically you use a credit card or a piece of plastic to spread the thermal compound across the heat sink surface. Then use a coffee filter or perhaps a white t-shirt to wipe off the excessive compound. This will leave enough thermal compound in the crevices, the microscopic spaces, to do the process called tinting which increases the performance. With the triangle mark on a CPU in the upper right hand corner, Make a vertical line that's about 80% width of the CPU with the thermal paste. Now install your heat sink and once it's seated, give it a little twist from left to right, just slightly. Just like this. Just to spread the compound. Okay, now I just mounted my fan to my heat sink and now I just plugged in the fan into the motherboard header. So once again I ran Prime 95 for a minute and 30 seconds and this time the CPU temperature reached 72 degrees which is 6 degrees cooler. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video and subscribe to my channel, YouTube slash Home Edition, for more how-to tips on computers, construction, and cars.